Morning, everyone. It's such a sunny day. I really love this window and the view outside, which is full of green and fits me energy. Most of the time, my morning routine is to look through industry news and check messages, especially in those VC groups, because we usually share deal flows and exchange opinions on projects there. Okay, my boss just asked me to prepare a background research on a project, and I'm reading its white paper and just getting confused about some technical concepts inundated by the team. To be honest, um, I've always been studying while working because I don't have the technical background, but there were so many new concepts and terms in this industry. When I first joined the fund, I felt so overwhelmed and stressful. But after a while, I just realized that it's okay as long as I kept learning and building my own knowledge tree, step by step, brick by brick. And then after like one month or six months, when I look back at the tree, I would just be like, "Oh my goodness, this tree is getting a little bushy." So the key point during the whole process is keeping learning and never ever stopping building your own knowledge tree. So it's my lunch break now, and I'm taking a walk in the park to enjoy the sunshine. Spring is such a wonderful season with all the beautiful flowers to look at. And I really enjoy being outside, breathing in the fresh air, letting the sun shine on me, and my carbon-based life form will be just full of energy. It's so exciting to start my own blog channel here. It's a bit shame to say, but although I majored in English and finance in my university, and also finished my master degree in England, you know, my first job after graduation was in a state-owned enterprise based in Shanghai. You know, Guoqi, uh, where my English knowledge was hotly or really needed there. And after hopping to the VC firm. I need to, you know, meet with different startups and co-founders from all over the world, and I need, I, you know, I had to push myself to pick up my English skills. <laughs> and fortunately, because my English basics are still there, are still good, so I, um, I can, you know, find get back to my original English level uh, very quickly. But I don't think it's enough for me. So I have to get myself involved or immersed in this English context everywhere, every time, all the time. Also, including in this vlog. And now I'm gonna stretch myself in the park, and also, and then I will practice my speaking English by reading after some YouTubers. And if you guys have any advice on how to become a nat native speaker, please, please let me know, and I'd love to discuss more details with you guys. I usually do some simple exercises that are not that sweaty, because I don't want to mess up my makeup. But they are very effective in activating my body, stretching and relaxing my rigid shoulders, back and neck, and also making me more productive in the afternoon. I just ran to one of my colleagues here. It's a bit embarrassing to, you know, because he just saw me stretching myself, etc. But whatever. 
being sedentary is so damaging to the body that I usually stand up for about one hour each afternoon. I'm preparing for the next two meetings this afternoon with one team based in Ukraine and another one in Russia. This is a pure coincidence, but I'm quite curious about people's real life there at the moment. May there be peace in the world. I really enjoy the gentle moonlight on the way home. Can't wait to spend the peaceful night with my family. See you in the next video.